Yo, what's your guys and welcome back here to Power World. Uh, we have done a little bit in between episodes, as you guys can see. I've, I try to play with the building a little bit and, you know, make a little bit more platform space for us to be able to utilize and a little bit of like a stone pathway that goes through the base. But I had a lot of issues with uh, clipping and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's, it's kind of not very good on that aspect of things. Like, it, it doesn't let you build through the ground if, like, a little bit of the, like, wall or something, say, needs to go through it. It just doesn't want to work, which is pretty lame. But, um, yeah, anyways, we have this space up here now, and that's where I put the cage. And, um, check out this dude. Like, what the heck? Why is he so big? I don't know. He's, a like, a shiny one, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I don't know, the dude is just massive for some reason, and <laughs> that is just where the, I just thought it'd be cool, a little place that we could put in some pals and stuff up here, so yeah, he's just chilling out, I found him just behind in the lake, just over there, or maybe it's the ocean, I don't know, one of the two, but uh, yeah, he's just chilling out, other than that, I don't think I've done too much really, just kind of, I have also gone ahead and built the, uh, what are we called, the breeding farm, so yeah. No, no, no cake presents, so we're going to have to work on cake, but I thought I'd just go ahead and build it anyways, and we can have a look at it for now, but they should be depositing everything in these boxes for us, so I've set it up a little bit of a way so then only specific things can come into these chests, so then they can turn around and just deposit all the stone and the wood for us, um, just super easy and convenient as well, so whoop, there we go. We got a ton of wood and stone at the base. Let's just go have a quick look up at the, uh, what are we calling it? The metal base, I suppose? Iron base? The ore base, I think it's called in this game. Have a quick look at it, see how this is going. 40. Not that great. But to be fair, we don't have that many actual miners over here. Okay, now, so I should be able to get that. And then fast travel all the way back to our normal base. We had to make up some charcoal just because I figured we we're going to need that soon. Let's get the max of those going. Um, yeah, the, the charcoal soon enough with all of the weapons and everything else that we're going to be using soon enough. Because I presume, I think we need it for gunpowder and stuff. Oh, we can make the musket. Let's go ahead and make one of those. Why not? Oh my god, this thing takes so long to build. <laughs> and almost there. Boom. Nice, we got the musket. I don't think we can... Gunpowder, how do we do this? I presume it might be over here. That's cement, gunpowder, we need sulfur. Yeah, right, I don't think I even have any sulfur. It must be from a different different mine area. I think we need to do some more exploring today as well. Oh, I think as well, I forgot to show you guys this. We made the saddle for the dire how, and it is uh, very crazy. Ooh, let's open this. It is so much faster than all the other things. I can see why people like it. You know, just for the absolute speed of it. It is nuts. And then, also, we did get the uh, mm. saddle for Grintail. We can now ride on this thing. It does some serious damage. This is sandblast and a power shot. 900 and something. And then let's see if we can land on this Melpaka. Big power shot. Bang. 800 damage or something. I swear I did more before, like I did it in the thousands, a couple, of, a couple of thousand, but anyways, maybe it was because it was a low level thing. Yeah! I missed it. It's kind of hard to aim it though, which is honestly a little bit less than ideal, but it's pretty cool to ride around. It's nice and tough as well, so pretty good. Alrighty, there we go, we got some jam field buns for today's adventures. Let's, uh, uh, let's go up this way a little bit further. Did you unlock here the stun baton, a close range weapon that sends an electric jolt upon contact. Powers are easy to capture when electrocuted. Requires high quality workbench to craft. Okay, not too bad. I'm sure we could uh, figure that out. B grade. Oh, let's let's watch these things fight each other. Oh my God! Do not go near them. That does not look like it's going to be fun. I really don't want to do it just in case I die. Oh, what is this thing? Not quite the attack I wanted to do, but that's okay. Oh, I 
think we got it. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, do we think we can get this guy? We're definitely gonna need to use the Giga Spheres if the other one just worked. Yeah, let's see how we go. Oh my god, you broke out straight away. Bro, these things aren't cheap. Stop breaking out. No, stop it. Just go in the ball, please. No. And I just wasted one again. Oh my god. That was so annoying. I really didn't think that would be that difficult. Maybe. Oh, it's probably because my catching ability is so much lower. I do need to go out and get some more of those uh, totemy thingies to increase my catching chances and stuff like that. So... Okay, so it is much difficult to uh, see at night time, but we, one, can spot out the teleporters really easily, and two, those lift knock energies are really, really uh, easy to spot out too, so that's super handy. Oh, we have Chillard back here. Let's see if we can uh, to actually capture this one this time. So I kind of stand here and take the abuse. Should be fine, right? One more. There we go. Hey, actually capture it this time. I say we give out our grin a little bit of a go. Okay, that's all cleared. We can rescue this little echidna looking thing. Oh, look at it. It's so adorable. What is it? Oh, it's a jolly hog. Jolt hog. There you go. Oh, I think I already got this, but hey, that's fine. I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. But seeing as we here, we might as well just fast travel back to the base. Okay, let's go ahead and craft all this mega sphere. It's gonna upgrade our little basic shield to the next one. I presume we could take two hits then rather than the one. But it'll be a nice little upgrade for us there. I presume we do that one. Yes, yeah, so that was what, 260, the other one was 100, so yeah, a little bit over. Okay, so let's craft it up Chillad's saddle. Ooh, pretty fast, not bad. Applies dragon damage to players' attacks while mounted. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of a dragon damage to the, our arrows. Okay, stamina. Let me go. Metal helm and the metal armor. For show. We suddenly get the fluffy beds as part of our next little base upgrade challenge. Okay, metal armor. There we go. Let's start the production. Okay, can we do that? Oh, we still need some more ingots. Alright, we'll go to check back on the farm, but we should... Yeah, chuck that one on there. Oh damn! Look at us, we're looking so much slicker than before. Oh, is this the one that we summon here? Sealed the realm of frozen wings level 15. Do we go for it? Oh. Let's see how we go, eh? First dungeon. Okay, not too bad. Use a cat pulse on him. There we go, we did lose our wolf, but that's not too bad. Right, you could just not do anything. That would also be nice. Hey, there we go. Boss first kill. Oh, we probably exit out this way. That probably would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, you can't go back in for another hour, so you can do them every hour on the hour. Yeah, right, but at least you can still get the ancient civilization parts and the precious pelt. So that's handy. Um, you just can kill your pals. Alright, well, good to know. Good to know. I want to have a little gander around here and see if I can find one more lift knock uh, energy, which I do see with one up there. So I'm going to go grab that quickly and then we can go back to the base um, and upgrade our capturing ability one more. There is still so much of this map that we haven't even explored. Like there's all this plus all this. Like I feel like I've been flying around for ages. Still have like that in Thailand we've never been to. This in Thailand we've never been to. Half of that area up that way we've never been to. Okay level 24 we should be able to get the fluffy bed. Okay, let's build two fluffy beds. Let's put these ones in here. Okay, second fluffy bed has been built. Upgrade as a base. Build a sphere assembly line. Build a power generator. Yeah, right. I think we are a little bit off that. That is... We don't even know where that is, but... Make the hyperspheres. Nice. Oh, there it is. 27 is the sphere assembly line. And the generator... Okay. 
incubating this scorching egg. Let's see what we get. Another firebox. Not terrible. Okay, let me chuck that in there. Sweet. We've got the metal armor and helm as well. we got our musket built. A few bullets there as well. Uh, the base is slowly coming together. I think you know, it's kind of going to need a rework. We might eventually definitely 100% move again once we start leveling up a little bit further and getting some more pals and probably go to those better areas further on out and then we can kind of like properly redesign once we, once I know what like what everything is and how it all works and about that we can get this base looking a little bit more efficient but for now thanks everyone for sticking around to the end and uh, yeah I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one later.